Okay, hi everybody. Just want to give a demo of PV Classic 30 and my opinions of it and review. Um, this amp, brand new, is 600 bucks or 650. Um, you can get them on eBay for about 350 or 400. Sometimes with a different speaker swapped out for a better one. I'll get into that later. Um, but I just want to give you my opinions of it and a short little demo with the Stratocaster. Um, my awesome. American made Fender Strat and then with humbuckers uh, my Paul Reed, Sprit, uh, Paul Reed Smith import and I had Seymour Duncan pickups put in there, a JB in the bridge and a Jazz in the neck so I think that was a good improvement for that guitar it's a good guitar but uh, let's just check out the controls here uh, clean channel is just a normal volume just one volume knob then you see you have the um, channel switch you got pre this is for the Distortion, you get a pre-gain and a post-gain. Um, you have reverb, you get bass, middle, and treble. That's about how I set it up. You have a boost switch there. I don't really use that. Um, it kind of boosts the mid-range a lot. Um, you got effects loop right there and an on-off switch. Um, some of my one complaint would be no standby switch, which I don't like, but you can get around with that. And some people might wonder about the shared EQ. Um, I actually don't really find it to be that much of a problem on this amp. Um, I think it switches between clean and distortion um, pretty well. And obviously there's a lot of things you can do with distortion. Um, you know, whether you have like a tube screamer pedal um, and you can just set the tone knob how you want it on the pedal and hit the distortion channel for more distortion if you want that or I'm always a big fan of using a graphic EQ pedal on the effects loop because I think you can just really tailor your sound that way and you can re make a lot of different amps sound great. This amp doesn't have a lot of low end in the uh, in the distortion channel so um, that might be another problem but uh, it's just a rock distortion it's not heavy metal um, but it does a lot and uh, it's very versatile um, and the clean channel is very good for an amp that has distortion like this. Um, not quite Fender like Hot Rod Deluxe Fenders but pretty darn close and the distortion on Fender amps stinks so uh, here we go this is EL, EL84's um, in the back and there's a tube guard on the back and it has uh, a tube tape to keep the tubes from rattling around. Oh, another complaint is the amp doesn't ship with a foot pedal, so you have to buy that separately. So that kind of stinks. And the speaker in there is called the Blue Marvel. Um, a lot of people change the speaker out, I know, for like a Celestian Vintage 30 um, or a Greenback or something of that nature. Um, so I'm going to shut up now and. Uh, Try and do some a little bit of uh, playing demo for you. So hopefully you can see me. This is with the Strat, and I'll do the clean channel for you. Here's a uh, cleans. I'm on the neck pickup on the Strat. Uh, great clean sound. So. play that loud because I'm in my house and I have neighbors and everything but I think you get the point you know it's a nice clean this is the bridge clear clean sound right there. Um, I'll click on the distortion and it's at 12 o'clock um, and this is what you get. Um, my bass was at three quarters of the way, mids, middle, um, and treble uh, at nine o'clock. So this is what it sounds like. Um, I think it's a great blues uh, tone. <laughs>
that's uh that's with the uh, pre gain at uh, twelve o'clock. So you give a good solid grit there. If you turn it up to about three quarters. sound there, um, especially with humbuckers, which I'll do in a second, uh, it's going to be heavier, um, which is great. Um, here's with the gain all the way. about three o'clock, three quarters, um, but that's just me, I don't know, and that's just with my settings too, so um, I'll, uh, I'll plug in the humbucker guitar now, um, see how that sounds. Go back to the uh, clean sound. It's a lot louder, obviously, with humbuckers. This is on the middle selection between the two. Here's the neck. Here's it at 12 o'clock. So you can hear that. That's like a good hall reverb, I think. Uh, here's with the reverb all the way up, which I don't play with, but. Especially, um, might not be the best amp, but um, you know, if you can't make this amp sound good, then um, I just think you're not as a good guitar player as you think you are, uh, because you need a more expensive amp. Um, like I said, this is great workhorse amp. Uh, thank you for the demo. I hope it was helpful to anyone looking to buy it. Sorry, I talked way too much, but uh, hope that helps anyone out. Thanks.